Well, God damn, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And for this one, we are going to finally be unlocking and building Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman. I've actually been looking forward to this for man. I didn't want to purchase any crystals, so I've just been slowly letting my crystals accumulate. And today, we finally have enough to purchase the deluxe package. And as with all deluxe packages, I often get asked, what happens if you complete the entire epic quest before you have the crystals to purchase the deluxe package? And the answer that I always give is you will always get your rewards even if you complete the entire epic quest before you pick it up. But sometimes it's better to show you guys than to just tell you. So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to unlock Sue Storm. And there we go. She comes at six stars coming in on her surfboard. Oh my goodness. And we're just going to collect all our rewards that you can see for yourself everything since i already completed the entire epic quest you can just immediately start collecting her bios and all the additional goodies that come along with the deluxe package you get back i believe 1500 crystals that's standard with all the deluxe packages so it's nothing new for her however i'm really looking forward to just how powerful the character is because my baby psylocke set the bar really freaking high considering she has great survivability mind control and insane damage so we're expecting the exact same from sue storm and from what i've been hearing for a lot of you guys it seems like she's living up to it 6,600 crystals, boys. Well, technically not, since you're getting back 1,500, it's only 5,100. So, yeah, but still, that's still a lot of crystals you need to have on hand, right? That's basically $66 in my currency at the rate that I often purchase crystals. I generally only buy crystals when it's 100 crystals per dollar, never anything less. Let's actually just rush through these. I want to get all her bios. So we have enough to work on in years. I think you get enough bios right off the bat to actually get her to tier two. But I want to test her out a little bit before we actually do that. Any day now. There we go. That took forever. Give me my crystals. How many more do we have to collect? Jesus. Okay, that's, that's not that much. That's not that much. I'm really thankful for the annoying stone, but I wish it wasn't blast. I really want universal stones more than anything else. But I guess I could use those just to master her. I guess that's why they give you the blast stones. So you can use those for her mastery because she comes at six stars, but it's not fully with six star mastery. Makes sense why they give you the blast stones then. Would have been better to just keep the stones and give you full mastery though, right? Because then you would save a little bit of gold. All right. I'm going to try and see if I can get her ISO set. I'm really appreciative for the gold they're giving you because, yeah, I know I'm going to have to spend at least 5 million on her ISO set. I think that's the first thing I'm going to actually do for her because if I remember correctly, she gives herself a lot of attack speed, is it? Okay, that's fine. Let's actually go and get her. She is... Where is she? Oh, she's right up here. Okay. So... Take a look at her skills again. Nice, nice charm with that seven second cooldown. We can just keep that up. In you know, one thing I really love about her is the fact that she gets invincibility and damage immunity. So if you go up against certain bosses or certain stages where the invincibility can be taken away from you, you can then fall back to having your immunity, right? Because immunity cannot be taken. It can be penetrated, but it can't be removed. Like Thanos, for example, can remove invincibility from your characters, which is sometimes why characters like Cable will suffer in War Boss Ultimate. If, for example, the Purifying Wind is one of the modifier. It's really cool that she gets invincibility and damage immunity and they're both pretty lengthy cooldown time. So that's really good. Well, not cooldown time, like duration. That's actually really, really good. Okay, let's actually go roll for an ISO set. So we're starting with 71 million gold. Hopefully we can get this really, really cheap because I still have to invest in her gears. And yeah, I would rather not go broke. Come on, baby. I really want overdrive or okay hold up let me see something here i want to see her gears actually uh, oh yeah right right we have to lever her up so we can see the gears okay hold up let's actually 
Hmm. That should be good. Really? Wow. That sucked. <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to get a little bit extra, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Let's see the gears then. I want to make sure she doesn't get a lot of attack speed. Okay, that's fine. Does she get cooldown? No? She doesn't get cooldown. Okay, so this absolutely has to be rolled for skill cooldown then. Okay, that's fine. And right here, where is it? Third skill. Oh, third skill. Okay, so it's only 1% all speed. That means Power Fang Hulk Overdrive doesn't really matter. I don't want Hawk Side though. Okay, boys, so that was actually pretty cheap. I can't lie. We got Power Fragger Hulk and we made out like a bandit kind of only like what, like a million gold? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's actually max out these skills. For her, I'm actually going to max out all of her skills, even though, you know what? Yeah, let's leave it at four. I know the charm, that's definitely going to be on a skill that I use pretty frequently for sure. So we're going to max this out. All right, so two skill maxed out. Three skill is definitely going to be one you want to max out. So 25%. Nice. All defense and all attack. So that means once we get the um, ISO set active, she's going to have max attack speed. That's actually good. And then we got the immunity. What's actually going up here? I wish the damage proc went up. Imagine that. Okay, so the penetration goes up. How high does it go? 80%. Nice. So 80% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, and damage immunity. Yo, you know what? Sue may actually be a very, very good PvP character. Like the charm is definitely going to make her a beast for world boss ultimate because you can just basically use that to keep all of the world bosses in check. But the fact that she has damage immunity and invincibility and a long iframe on her fifth and she has the ability to penetrate basically everything but invincibility. All you really have to do is give her something like a CTP of authority or destruction and she'll be a freaking beast in PvP. Especially since she has this invisible passive right here on her freaking 4 star passive. This is actually amazing. She may actually turn out to be a very, very good PvP character. It's interesting. Let's actually give her... I so say here, we're actually going to give her some stuff with HP. Let me actually just upgrade this. I want to give her a couple. All attack. Hold up. What? I thought I, oh, this one is at three. Okay, let me just max this out right quick. I want to give her as much HP as possible. I think I might actually experiment with her in PvP because... She looks like she might be very, very dangerous there if she's built correctly. All right, so all attack and HP. And then I just made an energy attack and HP. Where is it? Energy attack and HP. Okay, right here. I wish I had another one. Hmm. You know what? Should I just upgrade one of these? Let me upgrade one of these and just... Okay, we're going to do something here. Let's actually do that. And we'll max this out. I want to give her a ton of HP. Just on the off chance that she ends up being a very good PvP character. Even though, for me personally, I won't be gearing her, like, specifically for PvP. If she just turns out to be good there with the PvE build, then that would just be like amazing. But yeah, just on the off chance that that turns out to be the case. All right, so let's give her some. I'm not sure if I want to give her anything awakened yet. I can always awaken it later. And let's see. 178, 178. Some all defense. Damn, I'm running out of these blue ones, eh? Shit, I gotta make some more. These are all low. 
Wow. All right. So then let's give her 175 it is. All right, let's see these stats. 124, that's basically perfect, bro. Because as soon as I hit this uh, four skill right here, which, oh no, it's the three skill, it's the three skill. Usually the attack buff is on the four or the fifth, but for her, it's actually on the three. And I really like this Superman punch type thing that she does. Let me actually max this up. How many bios did they give us? 400. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? I want to actually try her and see what her damage looks like with 15 gear. Similar to what I did for Johnny and Ben. I'm still super upset. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still super upset that Ben is so freaking weak, man. Like, seriously. Let me just max that for good measure. Like, I'm so upset that they made him so bad. Okay, what does the stats look like? 48% for cooldown. That's going to get maxed out once the gears get to 20. Ignore defense. It's a little bit low. She doesn't get ignore defense on her gears? That's strange. Really? Interesting. Why do they give her a recovery rate, though? Does one of her skills have a hidden heal? Why would they give her a recovery rate? Also, I just realized I didn't give her her mastery. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually just do that right now. Like every time I see her coming on the surfboard, I don't know about you guys, it just reminds me that Silver Surfer is not in the game. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's such a troll move by Netmarble. Such a troll move. All right. Too bad her leadership is so bad. I wish she, I wish she was just a mind damage character and she had like a mind damage leadership, like 60% increase of mind damage. Oh my goodness, that would be so awesome. All right, let's see what the stats look like now. All right, so the crit damage is kind of low. Crit rate is kind of low as well. I think a CTP of energy is probably gonna be the best thing for her. But this is what we're rocking with right now. And she's 11,000 in the world. Wow, there's a lot of you guys using her. Oh, poor Ben. I don't even want to see you right now, my guy. I'm still upset. So let's actually check her out right here on stage 20 with 15 gear. See what she does. We're going to go... Let's go up against this stage real quick. We're going to try on all three stages and see how well she performs. Let's go, baby girl. All right, so I'm going to open with the three skill just to get that attack buff. And then maybe I'll use the two, then we'll go four. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yo, that looks so cool. Oh my goodness. They're just trapped indefinitely, aren't they? Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. And her damage is so good too. Wow, bro. Yo, this is just amazing. Where are you going, Hawkeye? That's actually crazy, man. You can literally just play her with one hand and she'll just walk through anything. That's crazy. Let me see something here. How does she does on this stage? Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna open with the three again. I just wanna check to see if the invincibility is immediate. Yeah, it looks like it's immediate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Baby girl. Yeah, bro. Like. <laughs> Boys, I'm not even touching the D-pad. Like, I'm literally just tapping the skills. And this is just a joke right now. Like, she's so easy to use. Literally picked her up two minutes ago, three minutes ago, whatever. And yeah. Offense is good, survivability is good, and the ease of use is freaking amazing. Let's see what happens when I put her up against Cyclops right here. Now, this stage is generally really annoying for characters that rely on iframes because Cyclops can hit you while you're in iframes. And you also have a Rogue in here, and she can actually remove the invincibility from her. So let's see how this turns out. Same as before, I'm going to open with the three skill, and I want to see what happens. And I'm still kind of concerned. Well, not concerned. I'm like intrigued. Okay. 
Hold up. Wait, what? Wait, she has a heel. Hold up. It's not like a massive heel, but she has a heel as well. Hold up. Where's the heel coming? Oh, wow. The heel is like Enchantress. Because it's on the skill that has the charm. That's freaking awesome. Wow. I knew there was going to be like a window where she took damage in the stage just because Rogue was going to remove the invincibility from her. But like, wow, I did not know that she had a backup plan. Like where if she takes damage, she can heal. And it's basically a heal every what? Three and a half seconds? Because the two skill... <laughs> Oh my goodness, is the charm and the heal. What the heck is... Yo, she's going to be a monster. I'm telling you guys that right now. Sue is going to be an absolute monster. Yo, they gave her basically... Well, not everything. She doesn't have damage accumulation and she can't penetrate invincibility. But everything else, boys, she has it. She has the potential to be one of the most dominant characters in the game. She has the crowd control. She has the survivability. She has the damage. And she's very, very, very easy to use. Super easy, super straightforward to use the character. Oh my goodness. Like, did I miss something? Did I miss something on her two skill? Because I didn't see a heal. I didn't see a heal. Yeah, it's not listed. The heal is not listed, but I clearly saw a heal when I used the two skill. So that explains why they gave her recovery rate right here on her fourth gear. Wow. Honestly, I'm very impressed because the healing is the only thing that Psylocke was actually missing. Like, that is the only thing that was missing from Psylocke's kit. And Netmarble seems to know that, so they gave that to Sue. To make her even more appealing than Psylocke. So she has better crowd control than Psylocke. She's super easy to use. Similar to Psylocke. She has better survivability than Psylocke. Wow. Wow guys. The only difference between her and Psylocke. In my opinion now. Is because Psylocke is a fully elemental character. You can scale her damage by giving her mind damage obelisk. So Psylocke seems to have the potential to do more damage against like Warboss Ultimate Stages. Especially when it comes to Ebony Ma. But it looks like Sue is going to give her a run for her money. When it comes to the Lux packages boys. Yeah. It's not so clear cut as it was before. Where it was definitely Psylocke over Magneto. Now it might be Sue. Or it might be Psylocke. It's still too early for me to say. But baby girl. Oh my goodness. She has it all man. She has it all. And she's. Oh yeah. She's thick too. Anyways boys. I'm going to wrap it up right here man. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. And I can't believe it man. Netmar was stepped up their game. Like what's next? Wow. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one man. I'm going to play with her a little bit more. We're probably going to tier 2 her next time. Try her in World Boss Ultimate and see what it looks like. But I'm very impressed. She doesn't even have an obelisk. And she just walked through stage 20 like it was absolutely nothing. That's crazy boys. That's absolutely crazy. Wow.